So today I thought I'd uh, explain about this little station interchange and describe what's going on with it. Actually, that's insane. I'm not going to tell you about that. I'm going to tell you about this hopper. This is something that uh, I built long ago and I never really did a formal tour of, so I thought I'd do one today. So this thing is about 13,000 blocks, mostly, uh, mostly cobbles and a little obsidian for the eyes, and uh, when we get up there, there's uh, antennae are actually made out of uh, dirt and have, uh, have grass growing on them. So let's see if I can see this from the, from the right distance, this spells hopper, but eh, I can't really tell. Anyway, we're just going to go on up and go on in it. Uh, I got inspired to do the hopper by um, basically wanting, realizing that, well, there's this limit of how how high you can make objects, and uh, but not really a limit on how wide or long you can make objects. So I was trying to find a lizard model actually, but there weren't any good free lizard models out there, so I gave up on that. And uh, instead, I found this grasshopper model and used Binvox, B-I-N-V-O-X. It's a free program that. Uh, Patrick Min developed and I helped find a few bugs for and I wrote a little tutorial for and uh, yeah anyway just uh, a lot of a lot of s basically gathering cobbles and putting them down one by one this is all hand done you can also use Binvox to uh, just cheat you can make schematic files and, and import them but um, but this is all hand done I basically just sat down in our world and you know, laid down line by line, block by block, and uh, it was insane. It basically took me a good month and a half, I think, to do this on and off. Um, so anyway, let's uh, let's look around. So let's see here. I haven't been up here in a while. Hopefully, I won't die. Um, yeah. So these are the antennae, and uh, to get the to get the uh, grass up here was kind of fun. You basically just have to... I made a little spiral staircase up out of dirt so that the uh, grass grew all the way up and then uh, started to grow along the antennae. Um, this is the spine of the uh, of the guy. You can basically... Uh, I basically made it all out of glass so there'd be you know light inside. And um, anyway, you can see where the legs are and so on. Let's... Uh, Let's go back in, and we'll just take the long, the long way through the middle. The, uh, you know, if you're inspired and you really want to make some big project, the, uh, the thing I'd like you to, someone to find and make is a, a giant sea serpent, because that would be pretty cool. You just have these, you know, loops of the sea serpent poking out of the, uh, out of the water, and I think that would be a pretty cool project. You'll notice this thing isn't quite symmetric. Like, uh, you know, it should be left-right symm uh, symmetric, because that's how the guy made the model. Um, it turned out there was a little bug in Binvox that uh, was having the model not quite be symmetric. But I kind of like that, actually. It's, it's sort of nice that this handcrafted thing isn't, isn't perfectly, uh, perfectly balanced in that way. So this is just going up one of the little leg, uh, the back leg uh, atriums, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's kind of cool because you can uh, I basically made sure that there was a way out gah here's a view and die <laughs> I'll be back and I fell over here somewhere oh yeah there's all my stuff oh yeah that's the stuff oh. Bones are actually a separate little story. We uh, we don't have um, this is a peaceful world, right? So there aren't any uh, there aren't any skeletons, and so we heard rumors that bones were in skeleton uh, or in uh, dungeons now. So we went to new areas, found new chests in new dungeons, and spent a heck of a lot of time, you know, finding out that no, there are, there are no bones in chests, or at least if there are bones in chests, they're extremely rare because um, we've never found a bone in a chest since. So we finally just had a, uh, we just built a little shrine. And uh, I built a little Binvox shrine, in fact, of a uh, unicorn. 
and what you do is you go to the unicorn and you drop off a, uh, a block of diamond or a block of lapis lazuli as a uh, offering to the unicorn and then you go pick a bone out of the uh, bone chest so that's worked out fairly good as a nice little mechanism where bones are super rare but uh, at least you can get them if you work hard enough like go mine nine diamonds or whatever alright so take two let's uh, let's try this again and without the falling and dying part so I think I'll go this way just so you can see the other the other leg atrium and uh, same kind of thing basically alright this time for sure I won't die oh yeah this one's easier to get up to so anyway yeah you can see uh, where we were I can get up this way. We might as well take the tour. Try to see if I can. I never really walked around the outside after I built it, I have to admit. Alright, here we are back on the spine. little view and uh, the back legs and that's really about it the uh, there's a few last things that I thought I'd mention one is that's it's kind of cool back here actually this is like right where the uh, biome changes um, so this was built in the uh, you know, in the old Minecraft uh, algorithm that basically just had one kind of terrain, and then he added biomes, and uh, and so when I came out here and found this flat area, uh, there were these new biomes, and it was pretty cool. That's where they overlapped. Um, the the prettiest part of this whole thing actually is this little biome right here, which we'll see up close and personal pretty soon. Uh, it's just this nice little. It's like this quarry lake kind of a thing. It's kind of cool. So anyway, here's here's how you leave. Um, I uh, originally had this as was just a hole that you dropped into, but I found I kept accidentally dropping down it, and uh, when I gave a tour one night, people would accidentally push me down, and that was just bad. <laughs> so I finally made it at least a little bit of work to, uh, to do this, but this is the way out. Hopefully I won't die. And there we go, and there's the little quarry like to finish, and uh, that concludes the tour. Hope you enjoyed it.